Hey there everybody, Dr. J here. Thought I'd just do make a little video here to give you a hand with A Drop in the Bucket by John Fedchok. This audition piece is on the uh, list for the Generations in Jazz Honor Jazz Band, and uh, it's been on the list for the last several years and probably will be in the future as well. So thought I'd give you a little video tip here to help you out. And if you're looking for some coaching, feel free to give me a shout, www.bonehead.us slash studio. Yes, just like it sounds, www.bone head.us slash studio. So, enough with that. On to the piece. Drop in the Bucket by John Fedchok is really interesting. And <clears throat> there are a lot of opportunities here to make your life easier by using some alternate positions. You're going to see me do some here in the video. I'm going to try and stop a little bit in between each and give you a couple pointers on each section. But be aware that if you can use your B-flat and sharp fifth position, it's going to make a lot of these natural slurs really easy and make things pop. I'm going to use uh, some sixth position on the F's, uh, particularly measure 26. And um, the use of that alternate position just makes things swing a little better, makes, them, uh, makes the legato and the natural slurs pop out. So you'll notice in the third bar, I'm going to use that B flat in uh, fifth position right there. Also in measure 22, I'm going to go out to fifth position, but then come back to first. So whenever you can use the alternate position to keep your arm moving in a circular pattern, that's going to help you with your natural slurs, with your legato, and it's also going to make some of these things just pop right out. So without further ado, here's the first uh, section of Drop in the Bucket. In the second bar, be sure to play a great legato blowing all the way through that bar until you get to the C. In general, unless you see a cap or a staccato, jazz is legato, so keep these lines nice and flowing. Top, one, two, one, two, three. Sorry about that, lose the levels. One, two, one, two, three. So moving ahead, we're looking at the pickup to 21. Again, whenever you see a cap, we're looking for a one, two, three, bot, dot. Nice and fat, nice and broad. They are short, but what we're looking for is an accent and space between these notes. And then great legato on anything connected, like bar 22 into 23, same thing with 26, all the way through that B flat line right there. So I'm gonna blow down all the way down to 45, and then we'll regroup. about that turn at bar 34. Again, if you get the right style, if you get the right sound, and you get some good notes on this thing, if you leave out the turn, if something happens on the turn, don't sweat it, man. You wanna really get the style of this piece and you wanna get the stuff out first. But after that, it's not, it's nothing to overthink. We're just gonna do a little turn on to buy it up. And it's really as simple as that. If you just think that, it's almost like a failed lip slur. So as you're descending, ah, if I were you, I'd practice it as a great gliss. I'd do it as a natural slur. And then you just kind of fake it in between one, two, bye up, bye up. If you say it out loud, that turn on your tongue and in your throat there when you're singing it, same thing's gonna happen when you play it. And you just basically think that, and all the muscles, they'll do what they need to do. But don't tell anybody. So you really don't need to overthink it. 
It's not as crazy as it sounds. So if you practice it a little bit. So for me, I'm going to throw it out to third position, almost like I'm trying to go up to a G flat in third position. One, two, back up. And then you almost, right when you're about to get to the G flat, you just yank it down to second and hit everything in between there. Slop is what we want here. Now, going on, looking ahead at part 51 through 56. Looks pretty straight ahead, man. So you want to just keep it nice and smooth again, unless you've got these uh, house caps. Mm -ba -zoo -da -da. In general, jazz is all about style. So if you can sing the rhythm, listen to this recording, sing along with me playing it, sing along with it yourself, play it. Anything you say, when you mentally say it in your head while you're playing, it's going to come out. Here we go. there in bar 53 don't make a big deal out of it one two three boo ba dow ah it's just a quick dow dow tongue it throw the slide quick and as you're throwing the slide don't blow aggressively into it or you're gonna get a big fall you'll get something like this one two that's okay but personally I don't think that's the style you want it to stay crescendo and get really soft as you throw it fast Personally, that's what I'd want to hear. That's how I'd play it. All right, I got a page turn here on the monitor, so you're going to have to bear with me. <laughs> We're going to do 59 and 60 and then recap. I'll flip the page and keep going. and strong into that and blow right up through that G. Most people are going to panic and think the G is the most important note. It ain't. You want to get the landing. Get through to that B, land on the D. Don't panic about the G. Just play it. If it, something happens, don't sweat the small stuff. 69, straight ahead, just like before. Legato, 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 legato. So here, I'm going to use a lot of fifth position on the B flats. I'm going to use a lot of Fs and sixths to get some great natural slurs. Sweat it, man. Get the style, get the style, get the style. Lead trombone playing, just like lead trumpet playing, and actually bass trombone, is all about having those notes in your head. Some of these intervals are a little squirrely. Sing them, sing them, sing them, sing them. Play them on a piano. And play it a lot down an octave. Play it in a register that's comfortable so you get it in your ear and you get it in your head. Once you do that, smooth sailing, man. Smooth sailing. Again, B flat is your new best friend. Now, if you notice in bar 77, use the B flat and sharp five, but if I come back to first, 
I know I said use six sometimes, but if you go booba booba up, you get a nice natural slur going to that F and first. So that's what it's all about. Find a happy medium of keeping the arm moving in a circle and making the natural slurs work for you instead of against you. At 85. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Fat with a pH is the word here. Keep them broad, keep them even. And if you mix them up here, I like to use the fourth, four, sharp fourth position for high F. Mix them up though. Ba -da -ba -ba -da, four, ba -da one. Ba -ba -da -ba. So I want to use one on the big impacts, the big holds, the big hits, but I want to keep it moving too. So split it up, do it every other one. But I like to keep those two right there at the end of 85 and the beginning of 86 and four and come back to first. So anyway, that's it my friends. Good luck, knock them dead, have a great audition. Remember, breathe, use your air. Air is your best friend. If you keep that wind moving, you're solid. If you need any help, give me a shout. www.bonehead.us slash studio. Talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.